Pissed off, son of the world! <clears throat> yes, that's right, I'm back. Of course I'm drinking again. Hexat Hospital? Gotta tell you guys about the Hexat Hospital, man. There was a lot of crazy stories I got. If you guys want, want to know more stories, because there's a lot of them. There's like a lot of them, and I can't do all of them in this one video. Like, subscribe, comment, share, and comment me. Tell me you want to hear the other stories, because there's a lot of stories I'm talking. I didn't eat for four days straight. Four days straight, I was not eating. I was just drinking beer, drinking beer, drinking beer. That was when my boy Calvin was over here and everything, and you know, he's fucking, dude, that guy, fuck. He took my portable charger, my motherfucker, went back to Florida with it. Piece of shit, man. You know, I know he's going to watch a video. Hopefully he does. Cause, they, oh, I, Cause, dude, we were practicing fighting moves. I taught him a move, and he's like, "Oh, don't ta don't teach me anything. I can defend myself." I was like, "I was just sharing something with you," and I did a snake claw. You know the snake claw. You know that move. And I kind of accidentally, I was aiming for his face. We were doing slow motion fighting. I was aiming for his face with my el my right elbow, and I was gonna like I was holding back. I was going slow, and I I cracked a couple knuckles in his hand. A couple of bones in his hand, and uh, he might have a broken hand right now. And I was holding back, so I, I and he's talking all this shit. Ooh, I grew up in Brooklyn, boo 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 boo, or some shit like that. And I was like, dude, my elbow did that to you, really? I guess it's good to be skinny. And I'm uploading my videos now that I made before the hospital. <clears throat> but this guy, he was a really good guy, you know, 2.30 in the morning, he drove me to the Hacksack Hospital emergency room and everything, on his birthday, 2.30 in the morning, 2.30 in the morning on his birthday, it was a Saturday, so he came to visit me after three hours later, he was supposed to visit me right away, but he came like three hours, three, five hours later, I don't know, he was a good guy though, he was, he was okay, except for the fact they took my portable charger and my two wires and shit. Fucking piece of shit, man, that guy is. <clears throat> Either way, Skinny Snorlax is back. He's not here right now, but he's doing... He's At least he has my back and stuff. He's one of the only guys I'm counting on besides my fans right now. I want to tell you guys about my experience in the emergency room and the hospital and all this. I didn't eat for four days. So, they didn't let me... Because I, was, because I told them I was vomiting, I wasn't really vomiting at all, to be honest. I was I just told them that and I faked it and everything. And I and but the thing is they were about to let me go. I was about to be discharged. I was discharged and everything from the hospital after a couple hours on Sunday morning or Sunday afternoon, whatever. And after they gave me a delibrium, that's a pill that they, it takes away the shakiness from the alcohol withdrawal. Thirty minutes after because we're waiting like an hour might have been an hour after, I don't know. Thirty minutes to an hour. Because we're waiting for security to bring my stuff up. Because, you know, they take your they take all your stuff when you first get there. So when you get discharged, they give you your stuff back and all this. <laughs> and while we're waiting, I got the chills. My, my, I got the chills like crazy. My head was sweating like crazy. My arms were like... Worse than Frankenstein shit. If you guys ever saw the Frankenstein movies and shit like that. Because they said they wouldn't admit me to the hospital. That's why I discharged myself. Well, actually, my mom came down to discharge me. But then, shakiness and everything, just it, it all kicked in all at once. I'm talking, I was in a hospital bed for like two hours, like, <sighs> with the blankets over me. And I was like shaking. I was looking at my picture of Vanessa Hudgens. That's one of the only things that kept me going. You know how many nurses out of all... There was like 20 nurses. Only one of them knew who Vanessa Hudgens was. And all the other nurses, they believed that I went out with her in 2010. I was like, yeah, I went out with her in 2010. I I, I, I fucking... I met her in... Uh, excuse my language. I met her in Uncle Jack's Steakhouse in Manhattan in New York. And then we went out for about two years, but two worlds just don't collide. You know, she's rich and famous. I'm fucking... I'm, I'm, excuse my language, I'm poor and going to school and, sh and all this stuff at that time, and, oh, man, I would love to be with Vanessa Hudgens, Vanessa Hudgens, he's the reason I got into high, I got into writing and everything, I mean, I probably wouldn't even be writing comic books nowadays if it wasn't for her, 
I mean, I wish I, I maybe uh, if you guys want, I can find, I'll look for my notebook that I was in the hospital with, and I'll show you all the, the pictures I drew and stuff, because, you know, staring at hospital walls, regular TV, it gets boring, after, it gets really, really boring, you feel like going insane and all this stuff. And either way, you know, all the nurses in the emergency room, they know me. There's Nurse Robert, Nurse Jimmy. They're really freaking nice to me and stuff. There's a, there's like 10 different Marias over there. Oh, my gosh. And, you know, in the room, you know, they have double rooms in the hospital. There was a guy next to me. He was really cool, though. He was a Jewish, and, uh, but he was really nice to me, you know. He showed me how to lock and unlock the bathroom and stuff. Uh, we watch the same TV shows sometimes together. We watch the football games together. No, the uh, soccer or basketball games together sometimes. He was really nice to me. You know, he was so nice. He even gave me a bottle of water on his way out when he was discharged. Because I was discharged the day after. And I, oh boy, when I was discharged. I mean, after they admitted me. Because, you know, I'm I'm getting ahead of the story here. They admitted me to the hospital because they said, okay, do you want to get admitted? And I was like, yeah, I think I got to get admitted. I'm way too... And I don't know if you guys can see this right here, but there's a big scar. Like, there's like, I don't know, my skin's breaking up right here. Hopefully it's not cancer or anything like that. Because they, like, uh, when they don't, when the doctor said I can't eat. And there was like two days I was in the hospital. They didn't give me any food. The only time I could have water is with some type of pill they gave me. And sometimes they, they injected me like three different times. In this arm twice, in this arm once, they injected me with this. Dude, the needle was like this much inside my arm. I thought it was going to go through my arm, the needle. And they inject you with this stuff to make you calm down, like anti-anxiety, something like that. I was like, why don't you just give me a pill? Oh, you can't have water. Sometimes they give me a pill with water, and I was like, oh, why didn't why you give me a pill with water an hour ago, but you can't give it me now? What the fuck's going on? What's, what's up with that? What's up with that? You know, and I mean, it's crazy. My arm, my right arm is killing me right now, like right here at this point. It's killing me. My left arm, it hurts a little bit, not as much as the right, because they injected me like at least two times in the right arm, only once in the left. And then the other time in Berkey Regional Medical Center, in the emergency room, like probably a week ago, I was, they injected me in the left arm, so that's why my right arm hurts a lot more. So thank God, because, you know, my left arm is, you know, that's what you jerk off with. That's what I do anyway. And my my other videos are uploading right now, so you guys are going to see them. I'm sorry it took so long because, you know, my phone, it's a little... Messed up, you know, it's been, re every time I go to the hospital, this happens, my phone restarts itself, and then I can't upload videos, I gotta wait a couple days and stuff, so I'm sorry for the delay of videos, guys, but there's a Jigglypuff in the Memorial Park, Maywood, New Jersey, I think they changed the nest, so I'm gonna try to sober up, I'm gonna do my best to take the Librium, the pills they gave me, and I'm gonna try to sober up, it's gonna be a, a probably a day or two, so I got to sober up, and I'm going to go check out those those nests, the new Pokemon nests for you guys. You guys are my fans. You've been here for me. I'm going to be here for you. I'm doing my best to tough it out. My dad's doing a lot better. He's able to talk now. You know, I, I, you know, uh, he still has to go to rehab for speech therapy and, and uh, speech rehab or whatever it is. Thank God they did two scat cat scans on him. Thank God he he's uh, he got no brain damage. So, we're good on that. We're good on that. But the only thing is, we got to make sure he gets through the rehab. Because now he's obeying the nurses. You know, I've been talking to him. I told him, obey the nurses. You know, that's what I do. But there was one time that, well, the last night. Uh, yeah, actually, it was last night. You know, because I didn't sleep for a whole day. And they gave me a sleeping pill with the anti-anxiety pill at the same time. Because I was going, I was, I was pretending to shake like this and all that. So, they would give me the pill earlier and it didn't work and... They gave me the pill later instead, like five minutes later than what they were supposed to give me. And, yeah, sorry, I got to shake my... I get the chills sometimes, you know, from alcohol withdrawal and all that. Even though I'm drinking, I don't, I don't know what's going on. But either way, you know, they have so many different nurses. Out of the couple of days I was there, you know, I didn't eat for six days straight. 
And you know, people could die if they don't eat for seven days straight. So I survived that. That's a, that's a freaking miracle somehow. I don't know why the doctor wouldn't let me eat. Just because I said I was, I threw up and I was nauseous. I mean, after they gave me the anti-nausea pill, I was a nauseous. You could have given me something to eat. What the hell's wrong with you? Oh, but on the way out, though, dude, the last day I was there, I had this feast. Oh, God, they give you this, you know, you're, you're laying down in a bed. Let's say you're laying down in a bed like this, you know, like laying down, you know, those beds they got in the hospital. They got this big tray. Oh, and I ordered macaroni and cheese. I ordered rice. I ordered chicken soup. I ordered a turkey sandwich. I ordered jello. I ordered freaking strawberry banana smoothie. I ordered peach yogurt. I ordered two bottles of water. I don't know how they fit all that on a tray. But because they say I have to go on a diet. They, they say I have to go on a bland diet so I can't have anything with spices or pepper or anything like that. So, you know, I'm going to tomorrow morning. Well, this morning, actually. It's, it's like 5.22 in the morning right now. <clears throat> I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna drink some more, a little bit more beer. I'm gonna smoke some pot. I'm gonna smoke a cigarette, go to sleep, and then hopefully I'm gonna try to take the. Well, I'm gonna try to take the Librium, the pills they gave me. Hopefully they work this time. I'll have a good meal because I really want. I love yogurt. My yogurt is ice cream, and I can't have ice cream because of my diet. So yogurt is the next best thing, you know. I'm sorry if I'm mumbling a lot and all this stuff. You know, I, I got to get the beer down and all that. But either way, I really appreciate you guys being here for me. Especially, special shout out to Ren. If you don't see him, then look through my videos. Look through his comments. I'll try to put his thing in the video, in the description or whatever. The link to him. <clears throat> and, you know, I really appreciate you guys being here for me. You know, I'm sorry that I got this messed up. I never expected it. I try, you know, I'm one of those guys that, oh, I keep trying. If you ever guys, well, this, this is way before your guys' time. But in my time, there was a movie called Walk the Line with Johnny Cash. He went through a lot of withdrawal and everything, but he still came out on top. And, you know, I had the knee injury, and I still came out on top. Plus... I might be moving, we might make another video about this because it's going to take a while to talk about. I might be moving out because my mom, as soon as I got out of the hospital, as soon as I was discharged, my mom picked me up and everything. She didn't want me to drink and it's like, what am I supposed to do? The pills don't work, so what the fuck? Because they only give me pills for three days worth or whatever. And she got mad because I was drinking. I was like, what do you expect me to do? You want me to go to Burger Region? You want me to go right back to the hospital? I'm going to go, I'm going to get shaky again. I could have a seizure and crack my head open on the fucking wall. You know, she don't give a fuck about that. You know, she she's more so worried about my dad. She doesn't give a fuck about me. I'm sorry for the language, but man, this it really gets under my skin sometimes, you know. It, 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 those buttons you're not supposed to push, and then she pushes them. We argued for like three hours straight last night. I even packed a suitcase. Watch, I'll show you. Watch, I'm going to show you guys. See that? That's a suitcase. I'm literally ready to leave this place. I don't care if I'm homeless. I don't care if I go homeless. I mean, if she's going to be like that to me, fine. You're going to lose your only son. She doesn't give a fuck. She don't give a fuck. She don't give a damn. Sorry about the language, but... She, she doesn't care about me. I mean... I called her so many times in the hospital, discharge me now, they're not taking care of me, so many times. Gosh almighty. It's like my, you know, your dad's in the hospital with a heart attack, your mom wants you to not even, if I discharge myself, I can't pay the bills, I'm going to be homeless, I'm going to be on the run, bada bing, bada boom. Like, is that what you want for your son? And she doesn't even care about that at all. You know, I'm going through a hard time right now. I'm down, like, I have to do the Pokemon Go and stuff. She almighty. Plus. <coughs> what? Plus. For, freaking Pokemon Go. New nest changing. Can't get service in the hospital. I mean, thank God that I can make this video. I upload the other ones. And I really appreciate you guys being here for me. 
I just wanted to give you guys an update what's going on with me and everything. You see my arms, there's like a million holes in here from all the veins. They've been fucking cut. They've been freaking like taking IVs and taking blood from and all that. I mean, I got good veins, but, you know, it's hard to sleep when you got, like, you know, they put the thing in your arm and it stays there for, like, as long as you're there. And, you know, it's hard. To, you know, I sleep on my side like this or my right side like this. It's hard to sleep like that because, you know, you wake up the monitor thing that's monitoring you. with It's beeping and beeping and beeping and I can barely get an hour of sleep over there, you know. And just freaking sucks, you know? Either way, I want to give you guys an update. I want to let you guys know what's going on. I know the videos are probably a little bit too long, but... <clears throat> for all my fans that are really out there for me, I had to do this video for you. Maybe a little tipsy. Tired. Really high. But I wanted to give you guys an update. And I want to let you guys know I'm going to do my best to sober up. I'm going to try, to, I'm going to try the pills. I'm going to try the pills, and then uh, <clears throat> hopefully after 14 hours, we could, those pills will work. Well, after six, well, you're supposed to take one pill every six hours. So uh, hopefully it's going to work, and I'm going to try to go to Saddle River County Park, go to Hackensack, and all these different places, so we could do some more Pokemon Go videos for you guys and everything. We'll find out what Pokemon are where and all that. You know, you if you guys don't drive, you could ride your bikes there, or your parents could drop you off. You know, Fashini Park in Hackensack is very in Hackensack, New Jersey, is very good. Saddle River County Park is very good. So, and Pokemon Go has been doing a lot better lately. Niantic, Niantic, actually doing a little bit better. So I gotta admit that. But the only thing is, I can't really click Pokestops every day because uh, sometimes I drink during the day, and you know, I'm not gonna. Walk around drunk or whatever or tipsy or whatever you could you could get public intox intoxication for that you get arrested I'm not gonna have no rap sheet. I had one DUI in 2010. That's it I'm not getting arrested after that. No, no, no way But either way, thank you guys for being there. Don't forget to share the video subscribe comment all this stuff if you guys want to hear my uh, some more hospital stories because I went off on the nurses I went off on them there was some nurses I literally cursed off. I, I faked the shakiness and stuff. And let me know in the comments if you want to hear about those stories. Because there's some... <laughs> they're pretty funny, I got to admit. Oh my god, I got I to gotta tell you guys this one more thing before we end the video. There was this nurse that... she I, I think she was doing something to me. I don't know what she did. I forget what she, what she was doing. She was taking my blood pressure or something. When they put the thing around your arm... And then you put your finger in the thing. They take your blood pressure. They take the thumb a thermometer. Take your temperature and all that. She was new. I think she was Indian. She was new. And I was like, so what? You've been working here for a month or a year or something like that? And she's like, yes, one month. And I was like, yes, I got her on the first guess. I might be psychic. Ah! Either way, like, share, subscribe. Comment, man. Come come on, guys. Comment me, man. I really want to connect with you guys, you know? I'll tell you guys my Facebook. Just let me know, you know? Just you, We can message each other through Facebook, you know? I want to connect with my fans, you know? If you guys ever want advice or something, you know, just ask for my Facebook. That's it, you know? I, I, I'll i talk to you. I'll message you and stuff. Just let me know, okay? Bye!